how this came into being in 1919, of course in Coventry, which was basically the Detroit of the British motor industry, they quickly developed a reputation for great sporting cars, and they were good straightforward designs, well engineered, cars that were easy to live with and easy to maintain and reliable. Reliability was key, of course, because a lot of cars at this time, you know, reliability was questionable. But these were a good straightforward design, one and a half litre engine, and um, whilst many people think of Alvis, they think, oh yes, the vintage models, the, the 1250 Ducks back, or the, uh, the Beetle back later models, but this is unusual because she's an Atlantic saloon, which was basically a sporting saloon, semi-fabric body, which of course was very much, you know, very fashionable at the time in the quest for lightness, fabric bodies. Mechanically, they are a nice, nice car because they're so easy to work with. This has got the sports engine, twin carburetors, twin SU carburetors, and she's a late model, she's a 1250 TJ, from what Alvis aficionados refer to as the, the revival period, because Alvis weren't built in 1930, they phased out this model, but in actual fact, it was reintroduced for 31 and 32 as the TJ, TK and TL series, the final models. And by that time, they were nice, they were a well-developed car, and as I say, they have today a great enduring popularity. Lots of lovely period features on this car. These flashing indicators, which were very much as probably just a post-war fitment, but they're delightful. And the louvers, and something else that you used to find on the quality cars was the chauffeur's quick release window. So you could just literally one shoot of the lever and it's down so you could stick your mitt out for hand signalling. Um, this car was restored a long time ago, about uh, getting on 20 odd years or more, and it's been well maintained since. It's featured in the, the uh, tone by Peter Hull, the, the vintage Alvis, which is a great book. Um, again, for touring, she's got the luggage rack and discreetly fitted flashing indicators, which of course are essential really in today's traffic. Just a thoroughly nice car in every, every way really. Original Coventry registration number and she's a uh, joy on the road. Keeps up with the traffic, happy at 50 to 55 all day. There's another little nice little period feature here, which is what's known as a smoker's hatch in the days when most smoked and a lot of people smoked a pipe. If you're sitting in the back of a car there was an awful lot of fumes to get rid of. So that's the joy of that. It lets it out and uh, keeps the air fresh inside. Bakelite ashtrays and uh, another little feature in here. Somewhere to keep one's accoutrements on a long journey. The rear blind, which was an, in fact, this was an early anti-dazzle device. If you had somebody behind you with bright lights, you could simply pull this, commissar, and it would bring that down and uh, shut out the dazzle. So that's, uh, that was, again, a common feature on most cars actually at this time. So all in all, she's a lovely, lovely car.